Hi there, I'm Aman and you're watching PTO classes. So in this video, we are going to study diary writing. So what is diary writing? We will see the in depth in the coming slides. But uh, let me just give you a brief description about uh, about this topic and why it is important in your uh, writing section in your English uh, language. Writing writing section comprises of uh, the skills comprises of the topics that are very useful or handy in your um, development of writing skills. We see that there are a number of topics like letter writing. Um, article writing notice and uh, nowadays you have uh, email also so all these develops uh, your writing skills not only your writing skills but your uh, intellect also your uh, thinking power your uh, your it strengthens your uh, vocabulary and all the aspects that are uh, there in your language are uh, are um, developed through this uh, particular skill so we see that uh, in our day-to-day -day life we often have to write many things suppose we are writing uh, some journal we are writing our own diaries a uh, lot of people have the habit of writing their uh, diaries uh, so the uh, people who are aware of diary writing who uh, have their own diaries in which they write their day-to-day -day things must be aware of diary writing and it is exactly uh, the same diary writing that you do in your normal life so uh, whatever you write in your diary in uh, in formal uh, formal education also you do diary writing and that is exactly the same that you do in your uh, normal life so diary writing is uh, that particular thing that you already are doing but now you will uh, get to know that how it is useful in improving your writing skills uh, see whenever you write something what happens you uh, tend to uh, become more uh, more strong in your uh, language part because you uh, develop a habit of writing more often and you learn new words you uh, learn how to make your uh, sentences more interesting your piece of uh, writing more interesting uh, not only for your own uh, self but for the readers also uh, diary writing is something that is very personal you don't write it for the public but uh, there are some other writing points like notice writing and article writing or letter writing which uh, uh, which is not only for you but for the uh, public to read for other people to read so when you will develop the habit of writing what happens you uh, become a more uh, more professional writer uh, suppose you want to uh, want to make a career in uh, in uh, the field of writing for example you want to become a journalist you want to become a writer you want to uh, you want to write books so all these uh, little topics of uh, writing in English language comes very handy see if you will uh, if you will write small paragraphs then generally you will develop the habit of writing and then so on you will be able to frame your thoughts and make uh, make a big uh, paragraph out of it or you can uh, make your own stories out of it so uh, I hope that uh, you all uh, practice uh, writing a skill at your homes not only because of uh, we are saying it to you or it is there in your course but if you will write it will uh, make your uh, make you a more vivid uh, learn reader as well see whenever you uh, want whenever you write something you will read more if you want to uh, write some good uh, piece of work you will read for it because you will need the information and knowledge about some particular topic so uh, if you want to write about something you will read for it also so writing is very important if you uh, if you want to understand the language now we will see that what uh, particularly diary writing is as I have told you diary writing 
uh, is a personal thing you write it for your own self so here the definition is also suggesting the same thing see diary writing is the personal form of a composition it includes a person's experiences and thoughts or feelings as i have told you that uh, many people have the habit of keeping a diary they write their day to day events they uh, write in their journals uh, their daily activities in the diary at the night uh, generally they write about uh, the day that how it went and what new things happened in their day so diary writing is a personal form of composition what is composition composing anything basically writing anything creating something so it is composition so diary writing is the personal form of a composition it includes a person's experiences whatever the person goes through maybe um, in a day or a span of time so whatever he goes through he or she goes through whatever they experience they write it in their diary so that uh, they can uh, they can remember that what happened they can uh, make a memory out of it because uh, whenever they will look back into their diary and they will uh, they will reflect on their uh, incidents that what happened uh, during their lives what happened during uh, their olden days so they write diary uh, for it so diary writing is very important uh, piece of uh, writing skill and it is a special way of expressing your memories as i have told you that whenever you want to uh, you whenever something new happens in your life something important happens in your life you write it down in a uh, in a journal in a diary and uh, you you remember that uh, time which was spent well so uh, see whenever uh, something is written it is Uh, considered to be authentic if you are saying something and uh, if you have something in return with you the uh, written thing will be more authentic it will be more justifiable see uh, whenever uh, uh, you you see that people uh, write something uh, and they put their signatures what for they do it because they want to authenticate it if uh, you are just saying the things merely from your mouth it won't be considered authentic but if you have the written proof it will be authentic so uh, writing is very important in that aspect also and uh, you uh, you you collect your memories in the form of a, a written text in your personal diaries so if you haven't uh, Uh, started writing diaries please uh, do so because it will uh, make your writing skill more uh, strong and it is very handy uh, for your um, for your education as well now see what are some important points to be kept in mind while writing a diary so first point is day date and year must be mentioned on the top of the page so we don't have the format in diary writing we don't write the format we will just uh, see the points that are there these are there in your book also more points are there in your book also you can read from there but here i have mentioned few points and uh, go through them you don't need to write them in your notebook you will just write the uh, diary uh, the definition maybe the definition of diary writing the and the diary writing and the questions that i will provide you so go through these points first day date and year must be mentioned on the top of the page whenever you start writing your diary in the left hand side of the page you will write the day first suppose saturday comma the date uh, suppose uh, 7th july comma 2020 then then in the next line time will be mentioned so first you will write the day the date and the year in the top uh, line of the page and after um, that line you will mention the time uh, somehow time is not that important you 
maybe you will uh, maybe sometime you will skip writing the time and that is not a big issue but it comes under the format try to write the time as well uh, in exam maybe in exam if a question of diary writing comes so you will write the time uh, of uh, that particular day you will write the time whenever you are writing the diary so third point you must start your diary with dear diary see like you write a letter to your friend the uh, informal letter you write dear friend or dear rohit whatever similarly here the diary is a uh, personal form of writing so it is your uh, like your friend so uh, suppose that you are talking to your friend only so you will write at the top after the day date and time you will write in the next line dear diary it is not given in the book but it is an important point of writing diary so you always write dear diary then you put a comma and then in the next line you start your diary so one important point the contents of the diary should be brief so whatever you are writing in the diary should be brief should not be very um, very big it should not exceed too much so the contents of the diary must be brief to the point you will just uh, write what uh, what the important thing is and when it happened and uh, why it happened all those things you will just mention in the diary you will not uh, not write too more too many points too many things in the diary like you do in essay writing or article writing diary is uh, basically very precise because in generally also uh, whenever some incident happen in our life we don't go uh, uh, beating around the bush we just go to the main thing we write the main uh, thing that has happened to us so your diary must be very brief fifth entries should look like real and natural so the, the incidents that you are writing in diary writing uh, in diary must look real see when you are writing a real diary when you are writing your own personal diary the things will naturally be real but when you are writing diary uh, in formal education when you are writing it in your um, in your uh, school when you are writing in your exam the question will be given so you have to write the diary in a realistic manner you will not write things that are very uh, that are unnatural uh, you will not write the things that can't happen uh, for example you can't write that uh, today i saw superman it uh, it is not that realistic so you will write the entries entries means the incidents that are real that look real so these uh, are a few points now coming to the next point one's own reaction to the uh, to the situation should be written so your own reaction should be written to the situation the situation which is given in your question you must react to that situation you will not write that this can't happen to me or this is not uh, in my life so I will not uh, write it or you will not uh, write something else in your diary you will just react to the situation that is given in the question suppose in the question it is given that your father gifted you a branded bicycle so you will react to the situation that yes I, uh, I was overjoyed with the present that was given to me by my father and I am very happy to have my new bicycle I am riding it in the evening I am uh, I am sharing it with my friends so you will not write that no my father has not given me any bicycle and my birthday is yet to come so you will write the things according to the situation you will react according to the situations now uh, there should be some significant turn of events so the uh, <coughs> your diary must be interesting you should frame some incidents that should look real but at the same uh, at the same time it should not be boring you should write the things which may look real 
but at the same time it must be realistic it must be sorry it must be interesting suppose you are writing uh, in a simple language it will not create any impact over the reader over the examiner diary is not for the public to read but here you are writing for the examiner you are writing on the situation given to you so the examiner so the teacher will read and so you must create the incident realistically and inter make it interesting got it so boring text should be avoided same uh, point you must uh, ignore writing the boring things like i ate uh, my dinner to, uh, to i ate my um, lunch timely i uh, went uh, to my friend's house and we uh, did our homework so these are not something very interesting you try to make some uh, the uh, events interesting i went down the road and i saw a strange person passing by so this line is making a an impact over the reader that who must be that strange fellow if you will straight uh, uh, you will write just that i went to the road and i went i reached my friend's house it is very boring you must write that i was going through the road and there this thing happened so that which um, which keeps your reader uh, strict to your diary now coming to the next point entries should not be monotonous uh, monotonous means it should not uh, be one sided you must create some events it must be very uh, interesting according to the situation living experiences should be mentioned uh, means the experiences which are again the same point that uh, uh, i have avoided writing the points here which uh, which are there in your book because these are being repeated that living experiences means the realistic experiences that took by uh, you that took in the day that you are writing uh, to the situation so these were some uh, points that you must keep in mind while writing your diaries and i have already told you that what is diary writing and why it is essential now we will see one example that you have to write in your fair notebook also i will provide it through the pdf also uh, and one question you have to do on your own but let us first see the uh, question that is there see you are aditya aditi today you faced an interview conducted by the principal for the post of the head boy and got selected you feel great pleasure write a diary entry to express your feelings so here the, in the question you have to suppose that you are boys have to suppose that they are aditya and girls have to suppose that they are aditi and uh, today an interview an interview was conducted by the principal sir and you got selected for the post of head boy and girl will write the head girl so in our school also there is uh, uh, the selection of head boy and head girl so uh this must be very familiar to you similarly you ha also have to write here about your experience that how you uh, felt uh, during the interview and how you felt after being selected as the head boy head girl so now you have to write the diary see the example is here the diary is here you have to write it in the fair notebook also so firstly you will mention the day saturday then you will write the date 11th of july then you will write the date uh, the year 2020 next line you will mention the time then uh, it is uh, written here pm because generally we write diary during the night after the events of the day have passed now see you write uh, you leave one line and then you write dear diary dear diary you will write it if you uh, try to write while speaking it will create more uh, effect and you, you will be uh, you will be helped by it to frame your sentences see dear diary today was a big day of uh, today was a day of big achievement in my life i succeeded to achieve a position for which a lot of students dream to get see i have told you that your uh, 
sentences must look uh, significant uh, they should be significant turn of events and the situations should look realistic plus interesting see the line today was a day of big achievement in my life i succeeded to achieve a position for which a lot of students dream to get so see you have just not plainly write that today i was selected for the post you have written that i have uh, got a big achievement and for which a lot of people dream about so you have made the line interesting it was the post of a head boy when my class teacher showed my name in the list selected by the school school board i have repeated the line sorry for that uh, showed my name in the list selected by the school board i was thrilled and overjoyed but nervous uh, nervousness could be see clearly seen on my face see here you have just not written that i was nerve very nervous you have written i was thrilled and overjoyed but nervousness could be clearly seen on my face so your sentence has become more interesting you have just not written the lines you have made it interesting see i was called for the interview and my name was shortlisted among others but when my name appeared in three names that were announced for the final interview by the principal my joy knew no bounds so see how effectively the writer has written here he has just not written that uh, when principal called my name i became very happy he has written joy knew no bounds see the sentence is making an impact over the reader so you have to create your sentences in a way that the reader becomes um, attached to your writing this will not happen in a day uh, at the beginning you will write the sentences which will look very mediocre but with the uh, passage uh, with the um, with the passing of time you will create the habit you will develop the habit of writing better uh, paragraphs see that is why i am saying that you must write something daily but this was not a bed of roses here he is not saying that situation was not that easy he is using a phrase bed of roses a very short period was given to me for to prepare for the interview see he is not writing anything that is very strange that is not uh, natural he is writing some uh, normal events he is writing some natural things but he is writing in a way that it becomes more interesting my capable competitors were also strong claimers for the post he is mentioning about his competitors he is giving him the giving them the courtesy so how beautifully he is writing my mom told me not to lose my confidence level under circumstances it was an occasion of memorable pleasure when i was appointed as the head boy at the ceremony so you will not just write that i was appointed the head boy in the assembly you will write that it i was very joyed i was overjoyed i was having a memorable pleasure and uh, during the ceremony but with the great position have come some responsibilities which i hope to fulfill with all my honesty and sincerity as well as hard work so see how beautifully the writer has written the diary and uh, you if you will read it thoroughly if you will read it um, two three times you will see that how he has written the normal events but in a very lucid language in a very interesting language so same thing you have to do try to practice writing a diary uh, search for the questions in internet or uh, in the book also three questions are given i have given you one question for your uh, self uh, for your homework that you have to do i will send it through the pdf but other questions also you can do in your rough notebooks so that you develop the habit of writing and try to write a paragraph daily pick up a topic pick up a topic of any uh, small thing that is there around you that what you saw today so you will develop the habit of writing you can send your uh, diaries to me also try to write a diary uh, try to write one or two page in your diary daily and don't write some personal things just write the things that are very normal and send it to me i will uh, i will help you with it and uh, you will uh, develop the skill very beautifully so uh, you must 
यू मस्ट राइट समथिंग डेली एंड आई विल ट्राई टू हेल्प यू फॉर दैट ऑल्सो सो दिस वॉज योर डायरी राइटिंग होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दैट हाउ टू राइट डायरी एंड वॉट आर द थिंग्स दैट यू हैव टू डू एंड वॉट आर द थिंग्स दैट यू हैव टू अवॉइड एंड द फॉर्मेट इज़ वेरी सिंपल यू हैव टू राइट द डे दैन डेट दैन ईयर दैन नेक्स्ट लाइन टाइम दैन डियर डायरी एंड देन यू हैव टू कंटिन्यू योर राइटिंग इन डायरी राइटिंग यू डोंट पुट योर इनिशियल्स यू डोंट राइट योर नेम और योर सिग्नेचर मे बी यू कैन राइट योर नेम इफ इट इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन यू कैन राइट इट अंडरनीथ बट इट इज नॉट कंपल्सरी इट इज नॉट मैंडेटरी बिकॉज इट इज अ पर्सनल फॉर्म ऑफ फॉर्म ऑफ राइटिंग सो दिस वॉज योर डायरी आइटिंग होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो विल सी सम लिटरेचर पोर्शन बट फॉर नाउ दिस वॉज योर डायरी राइटिंग डू द क्वेश्चन दैट आई हैव प्रोवाइडेड यू इन पी डी एफ एंड वन क्वेश्चन आई हैव गिवन यू द सॉल्व वन दैट इज देर इन द वीडियो ऑल्सो एंड वन क्वेश्चन आई हैव गिवन यू फॉर यू टू डू ऑन योर ओन सो होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड डायरी राइटिंग एंड स्टे होम स्टे हेल्दी Uh, keep on writing something new and we will meet again in the next video thank you so much for watching the video do like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't